Hey, Tyler Clearingbeak here with another ZBrush tutorial. In this video, we're going to be coloring a model using the Spotlight tool. And if you watched my last tutorial, we modeled this Ceratosaurus. So the Spotlight tool basically lets you take an image and project it onto your model to color it. So for this, since we're modeling a dinosaur, we're going to be using an image of a lizard to color it. Now you can use any lizard you want. However, some things you want to keep in mind when finding an image is you want to have a fairly good sized image, high res, so you don't have a blurry picture to pull textures from. And also you want one that is fairly flat in color, that is there's not too much shading going on. So in my case, I'm going to be using a monitor lizard. I find they tend to be some of the best ones to pull from since they're fairly large lizards. And in this case, I'm going to be using this image of a white-throated monitor if you want to use the same exact image. Otherwise, you can use whatever image you want. So just find an image on Google, save it, and then I'm going to go back to ZBrush. And in the case of texturing models with materials, if you follow the last one, we had Matte cap white cavity as our material, but for texturing, I like to use Skin Shade 4 just because it lets you see the color more. So, to bring in your texture onto the model, first open the texture menu and anchor it over to the side since we're going to be using it a lot. And select Import, and then navigate to where you have your image saved, and it will pop up right here. Then, to bring up the Spotlight tool, just click on the image in this menu and click this button right here, which is the Add to Spotlight. And the light box will pop up whenever you do that. I don't know why it does that. It's kind of annoying, but just minimize it. And here you can see the Spotlight tool has popped up. It has the image projected into the scene. And then there's all these menu options. Most of these aren't really that necessary to know. They're basically for editing the image if you want to. I usually just leave the image as it is. But the ones you want to pay attention to are scale, the rotate, and the opacity. So basically you just want to get the picture kind of in place and have it so you can see the model through it. Once you got it in a good place, you can press Z and that will switch back to regular modeling mode. So just line up your model somewhat. And I usually switch rapidly between the two until I got them both nice where I want them. So in this case I'm just going to do the side of his nose first or his snout. So I'm going to just get it about right there. Just kind of lining up hit the lizard's mouth with the bottom of his mouth. Now when you first start ZBrush, your brushes will be in Z Add mode, which if you remember from the last video is what's used for adding to the model. And you can actually use Spotlight Tool to sculpt. As you can see, it's that sculpt space on the scales, but I'm going to undo that. But we want to switch to coloring mode, so up here, turn off Z Add and click on RGB which is color and then you just once that's ready you can just start coloring and if you want to see the model without the image in the way press shift Z and as you can see there's color projected onto the model and if you want to bring back the image press shift Z again and basically you'll just be rotating the image around and the model to just color different parts of it just based off of how the lizard is. And when you are done, you should get something like this. In this case, I used the image I was just using, and also I used a picture of a Komodo dragon with its mouth open for these muscles right here. But in any case, that's the spotlight tool, and it's just a really nice quick way of coloring your model just by using a photograph.